All right, just want to show where I'm at now. I just dismantled the generator wheel. It's only an X. Just stop with that for a moment. Just back to the core of the Dini motor. That is two transistors, two coils, everything is ice cold. And uh, really good synchronized now. I've got this car battery on it. And the results are so great that uh, in only a couple of hours it will end up to 14.55 and still rising. And I did change the wheel. There were 10 magnets on it. And I now put 5 super pole magnets on it. And uh, now it is using uh, 270 to 80 milliamps. It's a bit more than before. And it's not going really fast. It's around 330 or something. Uh, 347, 48, somewhere around that. Um, but I've got this very nice spikes now. Very short. So there's a lot of current going on in the system, but so short that it's really, really charging this battery very well. So I want to go on with that and do some more tests as soon as it's getting a little warmer here, yeah, because it's so almost freezing again. Yeah. And it's not good for the batteries to test. But uh, the machine is running really like a sewing machine. Very happy with it. Uh, maybe I can show you the spikes. So really good. All right. That's what my sparks looking like. Very thin needles. And very steady. It's not going left and right, and so they're really good synchronized. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, I parallel everything. So there are four strings of wire on every coil, so together I have eight strings of wire now. I had some soft iron from old transformers, transformers and I those around the coils, so they even perform better I guess. That's it for now.